All right, welcome back guys. If you're here watching again, if you're not welcome, I'm just gonna jump right in. Um, Cause I thought I was gonna do a live video, but I guess my account is not eligible for a live yet. So that's okay. I thought I had it because I saw the option, but um, I guess we'll do a video. So we are, I'm gonna pick a couple of pieces. I've got the pieces that I put on the community tab. Um, that I was going to work on, but I think I'm going to change what I was going to do. So initially I was going to pick a couple pieces from the community tab picture, and I usually post over there so in the future you guys can kind of help me pick and choose what pieces you want to see and I work on. So I put most of these over there, um, but I, what I think I'm going to do is work on about four pieces a couple from what I posted, but a few new pieces uh, that I think I might even fix on camera too because they're a bit damaged. I'm hoping I can fix them. So we're going to clean today this Koro necklace. I'm finding in my shop that a lot of folks really like vintage Koro, and I have quite a few of them. Uh, I've been putting them off to work on them later, but um, I guess I'll just work on them now. So I'm seeing a lot of folks really enjoy the Koro, Koro pieces I have. So this is one, it just needs a good cleaning. It's a bit dirty, but otherwise in really great shape. I don't have to do any repairs. I just gotta give it a good cleaning. So we're gonna start with that. We're gonna give that a good cleaning. Um, we are going to work on these Koro earrings. Now, at first glance, they look fine. And they are. They're beautiful. But watch this. Boop! That guy's out of place. So we're going to clean it. We're going to make sure no other pearls are loose which I checked earlier and they weren't and we're going to replace not replace we're going to fix we're going to repair find the best way to put this guy back in its spot so we're gonna clean this and we're gonna work on that piece so the other one I have another Koro which is one I've been putting off working on so this is another it's missing three stones but also watch this like all of the stones have popped out of this thing it's so sad um if i could put them all back in but it'd still be missing two which i might still be able to find it might have just fallen with all of my other stuff so i'm gonna take a look around for that um and hopefully Put these two back together as a pair or maybe even just list the single we'll see but I'm gonna get these cleaned up and this one here so it should be silver but it's got a lot of gunk on it and a lot of stuff that needs to come up so we're gonna clean this guy today see if we can't get that to brighten up so remember what this looks like okay so we'll get that cleaned up and I only have 30 minutes for this video, so I can't post videos longer than 30 minutes on my phone, I guess, because it kind of, like, cuts off. I don't know what's going on. This was another one I really wanted to do because the stones are, like, so, in such great shape. Now, they look a little discolored, and they are, but I think they're actually just different shades, to be honest. And then there's some dirt under there. So we're going to clean this guy and see we can get that to clean up really nice. The last one, I thought about maybe doing this one too. She's pretty. Getting All she needs is a good polish, really. That's so weird. Why did they make the glue come out like that? Yeah, so we'll clean that. Let's see. And I think we'll save the rest for another time because I want to keep the video under 30 minutes. Um, 
This is a silver piece with uh, diamond bits. You see the little diamond bits in there? They're all throughout this bracelet. So I've got to figure out how many diamonds are actually in this bracelet, but it's a beautiful silver bracelet ju that just needs a good cleaning. But we'll save that for next time. Okay. We're going to give this guy a good clean too because this guy is from the early 1900s and I want to be able to share that one with you guys. Okay. All right, let me move all this out of the way. and Let's get started. As always, you're going to hear a bunch of noises. You're going to hear my blow dryer because I want to make sure I get everything nice and dry. So be mindful of your volume, and I try to give you warning beforehand, but if I don't, now you know. Alright, let's, let's see if we can get this, we'll start here, get this guy clean. I just got some like super super delicate soap running and my toothbrush. And for these silver pieces, I've got a little bit of silver cleaner, which is just this one butterfly we're gonna do.
This glue is just terrible. This is old um, glue that is just coming apart. We're gonna fix all these stones are just just waiting to fall out. Fix it. I'm gonna make it brand new.
sure it does. I just want to probably want to polish the top of this a little bit. You know, some of these old pieces, you don't actually want to polish too much. I, mean, I could probably get all of this to shine up really, really nicely. But there's something about having some of that tarnish stay on there that just adds, adds to it. I don't like a lot of it, but you know, just enough to still stay on there that you can kind of tell right away that it's from a whole nother time. I wish they had done this like more neatly. OCD is getting to me. But it's not kept under there, but I'm sure it was for a reason. They're making pretty pieces like this. Mm, she's pretty. All right, she's done. All right. Oh, I keep shaking, you guys. I'm sorry. Tell what that is in the middle. Now this is a heavy duty. Metal, like there's a lot going on here. You can tell it's old, early 1900s, just from the clasp and such, or the closure, but usually the things you see from that time are kind of like dainty. They're not as bold is this one so that's interesting and it's sturdy like I don't see it coming off pieces getting dinged up too bad like it's sturdy so it'll be interesting to do some research on this all these will go up probably in the next week too but look at how nicely that turned out I feel like there's something on the middle of that. I'm gonna have to look in the microscope. Or maybe it's just still dirty. Oh, there it is. There's some etchings on there. Let's see if you can see. Huh. I wonder if there's words on there, or is it just, just a design? I don't want to rub on it too much, but <clears throat> there's definitely something there. That's pretty. Okay, that's done. This was almost black before. So they've cleaned up really nicely. It's almost a copper. It's a little more yellow than brass. It could be gold. I'll test it and find out. It could actually be be 
Why so gold? It almost looks like a, like a 10 carat, maybe a 12 carat. But it cleaned up really nicely. There's not a whole lot that needs to be done now. Look at all those pop. Pew, 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 pew. All right, so that's ready. The star of the show. I think this is gold plated silver. Sorry if you hear the pounding outside. I think my neighbor's doing something with their house. But to me, that looks like the 800 mark, which is silver. But after, of course, cleaning it, it's a two tone. So I wonder if maybe they overlaid gold and then to make it look like a pattern in the wings. And remember, this was black. Like, this was black, 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 black. So I think this is actually gold. We'll do some testing on this to see for sure, but I think it's silver, gold-plated silver. Maybe 10 karat, um, 14 karat. It's bright, so. Maybe a 10, 12, or 14 karat. But she is pretty. I'm so excited. All right. She is done. Now let's fix... Let's fix you guys. I feel like I should almost pop these other ones off. Yep. They were not going to stay. If I'm going to fix them, I might as well fix all of it. I don't have very much time left on this video. Alright. Let's get her done. Yep, that was going to come off anyways. Oh, this glue is so gross. Oh, that's real gross. Blech. 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 Sorry, you guys have to see that. I guess if you do have to see it, that's what you're here for. We're going to put these babies back in. Let's see the earrings going this way. So now what I want to do is get these in, but I want, since they use these pearls with the holes already in them, I don't want the holes showing. So I'm going to catty corner the holes to the edges. So no matter which way you look at this, you're not going to see the hole. But what an odd, maybe that was a thing that they did. What an odd thing to do. So you can see where the old glue was. So they had this one in there. Like this. So I'm going to position it the same way. Nope. Maybe this way. So you don't see. Yep, we'll do it that way. Sorry. I'm sorry I keep bumping you guys. 
All right. some heat on this real quick. Actually it wasn't so much as heat as I think we did it ladies and gentlemen. fixed as good as new and I'm right at 30 minutes so thank you for joining me I'm glad I got a chance to fix these with you and you got to take you got a chance to look at some of the other pieces I'm going to be posting this week um, thank you and I hope you stick around for more bye